ist nur als nächstes auch vor ihr da guys. Tada! Hello. Go on, Clary. Oh, you popped the book. Come on. Guys, our coffees have just arrived. Good morning, everyone. Rise and shine. Okay, we are going through loads of PR and we've stumbled across this super cute one. Let me show you. Isla have been so cute. P.S. I'm drinking tea. And they have sent me a little Christmas tree. How cute is this? It's from a brand called Bloom and Wild. And it's called the Advent Tree. And it's like a little mini tree. So they send over these decorations and like everything you need. So I'm going to make this with you. Let's make it together. Isla have also been so, so kind and sent us some moe. They have, of course, sent us their lashes. Look who's on their lashes. It's my girl Ling. Oh my god, I'm so proud. And then they also sent some crackers, just some like really cute bits and, and also some mince pies. Let's, oh. Also, Kylie Skin have sent over their Christmas little PR box. How cute I'm is this? Dying. Oh, Chloe is literally dying. I can't believe I'm literally on like Kylie Skin's PR. I so I'm like super stuff. shook. This comes in a really cute little box. So um, yeah, I'll show you a little bit more of this over on my Instagram stories. Also, LMS have just sent this box. It is massive, guys. Wow, look at these. These are like, so cool. You put ice in there and then are it they? makes diamond ice. Yeah, it is, it is, it is. I saw it. Oh, so and then, yeah, they sent loads of stuff Stardust from the Christmas dreams. collection. Look wow, look how bougie that is. That is so nice. I love Elements, guys, so I'm like very excited about this. Okay, so I have brought you into the kitchen. Finding area, I don't know what this is. So let's make a little tree together. This is so exciting. Okay, so we have a little pot. I'm gonna follow the instructions. Okay, so pop up your pot and add your soil. The roots of your tree are wrapped in a bag. Cut. Oh no, wait, I need to concentrate. <laughs> guys, I feel like I've reread the instructions a million times. This needs to be labelled. Okay, so firstly, there's the tree, which is really spiky. How are you meant to do this with one hand? Wild. Okay, so you're meant to... Extra soil, put it in, and squeeze the bag like you're kneading dough. Oh, it smells really nice though. It smells very earthy. This is not as easy as I thought, you know, guys. <laughs> Okay, so next up, we are going to pop it in your pot and tuck the edges in. Okay, this took me a little bit longer. I haven't even decorated yet than I anticipated and I've got to go gym now. So I'm going to pop to the gym and I'll be right back. We're back now, we have a protein shake. To be honest guys, I feel like I've got so much work to do today. The last thing I should be doing is this tree, but we move. All right, moss is in, and now you have to kind of like pull it apart a little bit so that it's like more like a tree. So in here, chocolate coins. That's so sick. This is amazing. I feel like it's all coming together slowly. This looks like Mr. Grinch's Christmas tree. Chloe, yeah. this looks wild. Ta-da. Okay, I think this is it now. I could put more coins. There's like loads more coins, but I'm just a bit worried that it's a lot of coins for the little tree. But this is my finished tree. Look how cute it is. It's actually really cute. So thank you so much to Isla for sending this over. Like, I cannot believe. Um, it's just super cute. What's up, guys? So, we've got... I knew you were going to... I'm hiding. Chloe in the house, having some salad. I'm watching Gary's stories, in case anyone's wondering what I'm up to. And I'm having a mince pie. Oh, mince. Mrs. 
mint. So yeah, we're literally having a cup of tea. We just had a salad and we're gonna have a cup of tea and a cake. We're only gonna have half the mince pie each because we're trying to be healthy. I know it's Christmas. I know everyone's gonna come for me in the comments and say, Danny, it's Christmas and stuff. Do you know what? I will treat myself mm. on like Christmas I Eve, Christmas Day. I just hate that day. people think oh, that Christmas and the they low. could just, they just stuff themselves. I know. I'm not. I, I I refuse to gain all this weight during Christmas. No, I'm going to be healthy. I've not worked hard all year to maintain my. Yeah, body. and then I'm going to have a feast. Like when we're all together with my family, mm -hmm. I will eat. But that's like, okay. That's okay. Like it's kind of like a roast dinner. Do you know what I mean? I'll let myself mm -hmm. do that. But I'm not going to do everything in between where you're mm -hmm. like having chocolate every day, cakes. Right. There's just no need. So wait, what salad have you got? It was chicken, mm -hmm. pistachios, yeah. olives, yeah. lettuce, cucumber, tomato, and parmesan with this like vinaigrette. Mm -hmm. Insane. So good. I had the same. It was good. It was good. We're literally having a little moment right now. Mm. I literally just made some mulled wine. I warmed it up. Mm. And after today's long, hard day of work, I feel like we deserve mm. this, babe. <laughs> I feel like we deserve this. We literally are so, so tired. It's now, yeah, 20 to 6. But and we've literally like been at it since 10 a.m. We've done the most. Plus, Ethan d did a workout together mm -hmm. as well. So yeah, we're definitely feeling a little bit tired, but this is just such a, like a nice way to end That's it. So strong. But yeah, literally the Christmas trees are. We're having some mulled wine. Oh, it's so cute. It's lovely. Plus, we have something exciting happening this week. We're actually going to be going out and maybe yeah. starting a new series on this channel. So watch out for that, guys. Watch out for that. P.S. The series is going to be with me and Chloe. Guys, we secured the bag. Woo! We got a Nando's, we got a Nando's, we, we got, got a Nando's. I basically had this voucher that I completely forgot for delivery, and I was like, Did you say the fridge is empty, honey? So, okay, I decided to buy some Nando's. I'm so excited. I got my usual, my chicken and pita, medium spice, pear salt with chips, coleslaw. That is my... That's my order. In case anyone else wants to know, what is your Nando's order? I would love to know because I am a Nando's obsessed. Oh, look at this. Just look at this. Oh my god, look at this. Okay, we need to get everything out of the boxes and show you. But they even gave us extra peri salt. This. The secret. This is the secret recipe. We might have to keep this, babe. We're not going to chuck that away. Anyway, I have to say that there's a little story. I remember when we moved here, I was freaking out because you don't check Uber Eats and Deliveroo when you like are kind of like looking for somewhere. And so we basically got this place. We moved here. This is like obviously like a year ago, right? And then I noticed that they didn't deliver Nando's and I was like... Excuse me, you do not deliver Nando's. Where we lived before, we were literally, we had two Nando's right next to us. We had delivery, we had, we had it all. Like we were living like in such a like very busy location. But now I was just like, so, so sad. So I even emailed Nando. <laughs> this is when you know you love Nando's that much. I emailed them, I even DM'd them and I was like, hey, are you gonna be like delivering to like this area soon? <laughs> And now, my, my prayers, prayers have been answered. answered. And we have Nando, so I'm so, so excited. I'm literally just gonna tuck in, live my best life. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got, because you're probably wondering what it looks like. Oh, I'm so happy right now. I'm so basic, but this is just my happy meal. But um, yeah, coleslaw is in there, peri salted chips. I'm gonna take one of these. Thank you. And um, yeah, chicken and pizza without Tomatoes. I don't like the tomatoes. Oh, she feels thick, you know. Ooh. Let's ride it. Hey! hey! Guess who's together? Guys, I look a mess. I literally just went for a haircut today. What do we think? Fresh look. I'm very hairy. I feel like I've got hair all over my clothes and my mask. You do. And look who's here. Oh! <laughs> covered in it? You yeah, I'm the... covered in hair. So, we. this is very, very spontaneous. What are we doing? Uh, we're going to go and grab <laughs> some lunch. I've been sh uh, looking for studios all day yeah, yeah, for filming, you yeah. know. Okay, no. uh, but I, I genuinely don't know this area, so let's no, go No, we explore. don't know this area. We're currently in like Marleybone and we literally don't know this area. Pierce, I know I look rough again. So we're going to go get something to eat, hang out a little bit. I've, I've given up here. 2020, I've given up caring. So yeah, let's go have a little fun day. Yay! Woo! Yay! Yay! Guys, every time I see Richard, this is how I see it. Townhouse, wearing black and white, and a JML bag. I mean, what have you bought this time? What have you bought? Your house. What have you bought this time? I bought a Christmas cracker. A Christmas cracker? Yeah. Well, who are you going to get to pull the other end? Myself, because I'm single, remember? Oh, okay, sis. <laughs> so I wanted to go somewhere nice. 
but this unorganized person needs to charge their phone so we've come here to Waggers which I do like I do like Waggers oh, we all know you're getting there but I want to get to so yeah we're literally sat here we're near Oxford Street what are we going to do after this? let's go get a drink what kind of drink? best thing uh, uh, mulled wine mulled wine? bubbles I don't know wow look at the steam well no you can't see it on the camera no, but look, so much salt. What about now? What does salt do? Does that give you a heart attack? Yeah, there you can see the steam. Look at that. Meow, meow, meow. So we've literally just decided to come to Selfridges because, guys, Rich's battery is low. Sorry, I thought I lost the nail. Um, and yeah, he needs to charge us. So we're gonna get a charger and then go for some coffee because I haven't even had coffee today. Neither have you, right? No. Yeah, and it's like two o'clock and we haven't even had any coffee. Guys, they have a cinema. I really want to go. I really want to go to the cinema. It's so bougie. All right, so we literally just found this place in This Selfridges. little cute place in Selfridges. This little tea room bar. Wait, my little dollies. Flat. Little dollies. Should I eat again? My dollies. <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> the table nearly fell. But we have the most amazing view. Oh my God, I can see Kylie's skin. So I don't know if you can see it, but there's literally Kylie's skin right there. And then if we look up, how sick is this? This is so cool. Hello. <laughs> oh guys, I really, really do miss coming out. So I got myself a scone or scone, whatever, with clotted cream and some jam, I a cappuccino. Richard got this vegan log. And he's also having some tea. Oh yes, because that's what we do here in the UK, isn't it babe? Drink tea. So yeah, we're not gonna do sugar because we're trying to be healthy even though we're gonna have a scone. And jam and cream. But yeah, we're watching the calories, guys. I'm trying so hard, but I just love it. Because I really do miss just being out and about, like... Guys, I just wanted to show you my nails. How cool are these? Yeah! Yeah! They're so cool! Can you guess who these are inspired by? Guys, look how cute these lights are. There's a lot of people here, okay, but it's okay. I got my mask on. But yeah, look at these lights. They're so cute and festive, aren't they, babe? Jeez, I know that's close ups, close ups. Don't worry, babe. You've got good skin, it's fine. <laughs> but yeah, look how cute this is. We are back at my favorite store, which is HM Home. Yeah. So they've actually been shut down online, so I'm gonna go to the store. Yeah, guys, we're gonna get some bits. <laughs> We are literally just in Covent Garden right now and look at this place, look! Santa's come, this is such a cute little photo opportunity and there's a little market here, it's super cute This is so nice Right, so we are back at home now you know when you're hot and flustered after like walking around? So I literally just had to take my hoodie off and yeah, in case you're wondering, this is Justin Bieber. <laughs> it's just so embarrassing, but I, I like Justin Bieber, okay, so don't judge me. But anyway, I just kind of wanted to show you some bits that I grabbed from H&M Home. So yeah, one of the pieces that I got was this authentic marble like tray. So this is going to go in perhaps the ensuite where I can then display some products on top just to add a little bit of layering. And I'm so obsessed with like natural materials. So whether it's wood, um, stone, marble, like, I well, I think that's stone, isn't it, really? Metals, just like elements, do you know what I mean? And I also grabbed this piece, which I am personally obsessed with. I think it's so cool. I'm personally obsessed with this. I hope you guys are gonna love it. But this is what it looks like. I mean, who? <laughs> Look at this. So it is just a decoration. It's a decorative piece. And it is basically like a wooden block. And on top is this kind of stone sculpture piece. I just think this is a really nice display item. And personally for me right now, I feel like I have loads of like little bits in the house. So I'm looking for like big, bold statement bits. So this is maybe like a medium size. 
I don't know where this is gonna go, but it's gonna go somewhere, you know? It's gonna go somewhere. So yeah, now I am going to um, just chill. I think I might watch more another episode of The Crown because we're now on season four. And even if you're not into the monarchy or stuff, I feel like it's a really good series. Like, I don't know if it's for everyone, but I find it really interesting. And then maybe grab some dinner. I don't know. My boyfriend's having a bath right now. So I'm like, I'm going to let him have his time. <laughs> but yeah, we might grab something to eat, chill. And then tomorrow we've got a, another busy, fun day. So I'll see you tomorrow. Hello. And we're back with the vlog. I guess he's right. Look at her. Look how nice she looks. Oh, there she is. The Chloe. I remember. So we are, as you can see, makeup, did up. Feeling good for once, now the lockdown is over here in London. We have just filmed the cutest little like video vlog series. It's the most Instagrammable places in London. We just went somewhere super, super cute. So check that out, that will be out. But we are outside Harrods right now. This is it. Bubbles. There's someone blowing bubbles. I don't know if you can see him, he's like over there. But literally, um, we are gonna be spending the day together, having a content day and just having really good fun for a change. Exploring, really going out and eating. It is really, really cold. But yeah, we're gonna take you with us. We're just having a chill day. So yeah, let's do this. Wow, guys, this is insane. I've Go on, Clary. Oh, you popped the Come on. Oh, God, me, swallow me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we are currently on Bond Street. Look at that Dolce Gabbana, though. <gasps> Is. Oh my god, future house. No, joking. Anyway, we are currently on Bond Street and this is kind of like, I would say like the bougie street. This is where every content creator comes. This is the Cartier store on Bond Street. This is what everyone knows. Oh, shush you. Oh, shush. <laughs> And this is, uh, yeah, it's a really weird, they always go all out with their Christmas decorations, so definitely something to see. And then there's like trees here, we've got Ralph Lauren behind us, super, super cute. All right, next up we're gonna go to the Fendi Cafe, maybe if they have space, okay, we're not sure yet, it looks kind of busy. This place is so cute. Yay. All right, so we are literally at the Fendi Cafe, this is in Selfridges. We're gonna have a look. They have cocktails, they have coffees, champagne, and they also have like food as well um, on this little menu. Guys, our coffees have just arrived. Look at this. This is so insane. We literally just got some shortbread. So we've got some shortbread here. I, I need these plates. Do they sell these? Okay. And then this is, yeah, this is the vibe. Look, we've got two different coffees. Let me see yours. This is mine. Yay! Right? We're having such a touristy day. So we're literally just being so touristy today. I feel like my makeup is ruined at this point. Look at my nose contour has disappeared because of the face mask. Look how much, this is so gross. Look how much makeup is in here. Ew, this is disgusting. But it's just life, I know. Hello. So I'm back home now. I feel so tired. I had to literally rush back home. I was literally running to try and get a YouTube video up on time for you all. And I'm just like, woo, it's been a crazy day. I'm so not used to just being out and about with like loads of people walking around. I've become a bit of a hermit. I feel like this year has made me a bit of a hermit where I'm just at, like at home a lot. But it was so, so good. I feel so blessed just to be able to see and experience everything that I did today. And I'm so, so excited to see that, you know, there is light at the end of the tunnel and that everything will be normal one day in the near future. So I, for some reason, thought vlogging was just going to take over my life. But I actually really, really, really enjoying it. Like, I love vlogging when... I'm with my friends or if I'm doing something exciting, I just love sharing it. I actually really, really, really like just looking back. So it's kind of like a little diary for me because sometimes life is just a little bit crazy. But I think when I read your comments, that's what makes it all worth while and I'm just so so grateful so yeah thank you so much for being with me on this journey I'm gonna go and have some dinner and I'll catch up with you in a moment you might think I'm bougie and I do like a bougie moment but nothing beats a good old oven lasagna for dinner so we're gonna eat a lasagna okay I'm also now in my hoodie this is what I live in Ugh, I just love a hoodie like, I do like dressing up and stuff but whew, I forgot what wearing skinny jeans felt like and let me tell you 
it's tight. It's tight down downstairs. Very very tight. I was I couldn't breathe for half the day. So now I'm in my cozy hoodie and uh, tracksuit, whatever. And I'm gonna put on these socks. I literally had to find them, guys. I was rummaging through my cupboard. I found them. This is the thickest woolliest socks ever. I think they're from Primark. Like they're just very thick. I don't think you're really meant to leave the house in this because you might have to like get a bigger shoe size. But I'm gonna put this on, we're gonna chill, watch some TV, eat a lasagna, and just live my best life. Right, yeah, so we're literally bar. just in a meeting right now, Please. which is so exciting. This is like a super drug me. workshop. Like Look and at this. Of, this is so um, cute. Let me show you the like, setup because it's super like cute. Wine. So we literally yeah, have small, these little flowers. flowers, they're like dried flowers. Yeah. And, and this lovely lady is literally teaching us how so to make a centerpiece. How is she doing this already? Muskets. Like, I haven't even started, so I'm gonna go and crack on. Yeah, Guys, this looks like, so bad! What is this? So this is like, so bad! This is so embarrassing, I can't even show this to the camera. Okay, so this is how hers is looking. Oh my god, that looks so much And this is the reality. <laughs> I'm not sure, I don't know, I think I might quit now. This is... This, this is not, this is not the one. Right guys, this is so embarrassing. <laughs> They've literally just been like, how's everyone getting along? And I was like, no, this is not happening for me. And they were like, let's, let's try and help you out. So they started again, just for me. Really bad. Me and Imogen are basically struggling with this. Right, so I'm cheating. I'm literally just grabbing <laughs> and like making a flower arrangement because I've kind of done a few of those before. So I'm literally just picking it like kind of together. Contrasting can be nice, but don't and, um, do it. I'm just gonna I mean, pop it in a vase because you know, I kind of don't want anything that's too wide. I want something that just goes up. Do you know what I mean? I this is what I'm like, guys. I'm very independent. I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna do my own thing. <laughs> but literally, this is what I created. <laughs> so I literally just popped some of the bigger leaves, like in here, to kind of hide all the sticks, and then I just made a little display like this. Which I really like because it's more vertical. Right, so that is my finished look. Look, I really like it. I'm actually really happy. I feel like it looks super cute. It's very Daniel Afraid's home. But um, yeah, it was definitely a lot harder than what I anticipated. I was not ready for the scissors, the cutting, and also these little thistles. I don't know if you can see it. It's like very spiky and it hurts. Do it. At times. But yeah, we're gonna watch. They're gonna teach us now how to wrap presents. So I'm not gonna follow that through. I'm just gonna watch that bit. And then, yeah. Oh my god, someone's got a dog. Oh. Hello, guys. What's up? It's another day. I'm literally gonna take you with me for lunch. Me and my boyfriend have decided to go to this cute place and just treat ourselves before he goes away for Christmas. So we are in central London. I am. I was running late, I'm not gonna lie. And there's like loads of construction sites here. So um, anyway, yeah, we're in like Piccadilly Circus and we're gonna go to this place called Zadel. This hair is so cute. So oh, let's have lunch together. All right, so we are here. We're actually the first people here, guys. How lol, it actually opens now, so it's normally like heaving, but how beautiful is this place? Like it's so, so stunning. Like it's just so beautiful. This is like somewhere that was like found underground. Um, and this is the menu, it is a French restaurant. And yeah, it's very, very early on like a weekday, so we're a bit like, ooh. Guys, it feels so strange being here. I feel like I'm not used to being bougie, honestly. I don't know what to do. I'm just like, normally I would just have a piece of toast or like, I'm just so used to just being at home and being on fun that being in this environment is just a bit strange. Like, what is some chicken? The food is so good here, like, it's quite rich. But it's really really good right so my food has arrived i got the chicken with mushrooms and some mashed potato i haven't had mash in so long and my boyfriend i don't know if this is what he was meant to get because <laughs> this is the biggest piece of animal wow i am so sorry if anyone is vegan watching this because i've never seen that's the size of my hand like i'm not Babe, that's huge. Are you gonna eat this? My bad. I thought that was steak, but it's actually pork, which makes sense. So it actually, no, it looks really, really good. No, it looks really good. Hello, tortellini. No, no kidding. I feel a little bit tipsy, guys. I'm not gonna lie. So we literally just finished there. It was so, so good. We're literally full. I had a cafe au lait, which I love. Literally, I haven't had a cafe au lait since Paris. So yeah, so we're literally now just gonna like 
kind of like just hang out, have a good day. Do you know what I mean? I feel like I've been out so much this week. I feel like I've been out almost every single day, but I'm just enjoying it. I'm just trying to make the most out of everything, like just take it all in, get a little bit more of a festive cheer. Oh, yes, love the traffic. Hello. But yeah, I feel really strange. I feel like I've had a coffee and I'm drunk. Like I'm. <laughs> I feel a bit crazy. So this is the Burlington Arcade. Like it is decorated so so nice, and they even have little doormen here. Look, it's so nice, so cute. Guys, we're being such a tourist today. We've literally just come to Buckingham Palace, and that guy. Look at him. Runway UK fashion, honey. Yes, look at that girl. Do you think he's warm? Do you think he's cold? My boyfriend was just like, "Do you think he's able to use that gun?" I'm like, babes. I don't know. Yes, yeah, so as you guys know, we've been like obsessed with the crown recently, so we just thought we'd come here and like say hi. Oh my god. Oh my god, there's ducks as well. well I think that's a duck. I'm scared. I'm low, low key scared. They look serious. These are some bad bitch ducks, you know, you do not want to mess with these ducks. Guys, you're going to think I'm crazy, but we're back here again. Yeah, we're back here again. But I just want to show you the Cartier building with the lights on at night because it's so, so, so cute. Super cute. Okay, so we're literally just here now at Hannah London. Yeah, so I was kind of not expecting this, but it's something really, really exciting that we are going to be showing and reviewing today. So this is kind of like a back facial. It's really got two main components so one of them is going to be like a deep cleansing to your back area almost like a facial for the back and secondly it's going to be amazing for circulation boosting circulation and also lymphatic drainage so i'm actually really really excited to try out this this is something that hannah london are doing like as a new treatment as a new new surface so i'm going to try and capture as much of it as possible definitely let me know in the comments below if you want to know more about this i might actually link this in the description so you guys can kind of just click on the link and check out more information about this but this is something brand new i've never tried this before so i'm super excited and my back has actually been really really sore recently and it's just an area that you can't you know you can't really see if you've got a black head you can't really like you know get to that area so this is going to be super exciting there's a whole little setup here let me show you this because this is amazing i wish it I wish everyone had this set up right now. This is just like my home. So um, yeah, so I will show you as much as I can and I'm gonna leave a link below as well. All right, so what's really exciting is as this is a new treatment, we're really just going in. So we have a little audience, yay! The team, the amazing team. So yeah, so we are literally gonna be trying this out. I'm actually so excited. One of the first people trying this out, like I'm so, so excited for this. So far it feels amazing and this lady here is a genius. She's legend. She's probably one of my favorite masseuses ever. Do you know that? I didn't, but I'm glad. Did I not tell you that last time? You loved it last time. I but did. It's been too long. It has been a long time, but honestly, if you need anything treatment wise, please check these guys out. They're amazing. All right, guys. So here we have one of my favorite machines. Oh, we've seen this on my channel before is the Hydrofacial. And we're going to be using this for some of the suction for the back. So we also have a bespoke back kind of attachments on this, so very exciting. All right, so we're literally just going through with the exfoliation right now. This feels so good. If you like having your back scratched, this is the one, guys. This is the one. So we're literally going through. So this does feel a little bit scratchy, but it feels really, really nice, and it's a deep exfoliation, so this is what we're gonna start with. So this is what it looks like. All right, so we literally just did a little bit of extraction on the back, which feels so good. I love it. And now we're going in with suction. So these are the specific body slash back adjustments. Okay, so we literally just had a little bit of a massage and now we're putting on a finishing cream. What does this cream do? Uh, so this helps to reduce inflammation. It helps to rebuild your lipid barrier. It's also good for drying out any last remaining breakouts. And we're going to use a combination of red and blue LED light therapy to boost collagen, reduce inflammation, and antibacterial properties. Oh yeah, sounds so good, so I'm excited. And I will come back at the end of the treatment. All right, so we literally just finished our treatment. I feel so relaxed, guys, I'm so relaxed. Literally, when anyone touches my hair or my back, I'm like, Ooh, my happy place. So literally, this is what my back looks like. I wish I could kind of show you at a better angle, maybe. But um, yeah, such, such a nice treatment. I would say this is something that 
would be effective yet relaxing as well and just a really amazing alternative kind of treatment as well so like i said i'm going to link it down below in the description um, i'm also going to be doing a full video on my botox which i'm also having here at hannah london so make sure you go and check that out it's literally going to be three areas of botox i'm going to show you everything so like the whole shebang so definitely go and check that out and i will see you in the next slide